Hello everyone, welcome to Elite's Gate. So today we will discuss how to find number of integral point inside a circle. So there are many ways to solve this type of question. A basic approach is where you can count and solve it. A symmetrical approach is where you can solve it. And a direct approach is where you can solve it. So in today's day, we will only learn this approach. If you have any issue in basic approach, please tell me in the comment section. I will make a basic approach in the next video. Today, we will learn the direct formula. How to apply the direct formula to solve this type of question. So first understand what is the demand of our question. So question is, there is a circle with number of integral points. So question is, what is the demand of our question? So question is, there is a circle in xy plane with center as a comma b. There is a circle in xy plane with center a comma b and radius is 6. That means the equation of circle is x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square that is equal to 36. If a and b are integers then how many points with integer coordinates do not lie outside the circle. That means we need integral point which are on the circle and inside the circle. That means the circle का center कुछ भी हो जाए। अगर इस center को मैं zero comma zero मान लूँ या one comma one मान लूँ, circle की radius तो वही रहेगी। Circle का जो area है वो तो वही रहेगा। उसके अंदर जितने number of integral point है, that will remain same। वो number of integral point क्या रहेंगे? Same रहेंगे। तो center हम लोग कुछ भी let कर सकते हैं। A B को कोई भी integral value दे सकते हैं। तो you can take it as zero comma zero also. That means our equation is x square plus y square is equal to 36. Now we want to find number of integral point on the circle and inside the circle. That means we want to find number of possible values of x and y which is satisfying this equation. Number of possible integral value especially integral value of x and y which is satisfying this equation. We want to find this. So there is a direct method to solve this question. There is a direct formula to solve this question. Understand what is this that particular formula. So x square plus y square is less than equal to n square. x square plus y square is less than equal to n square and number of integral point satisfying this equation is 1 plus 4 times of p is equal to 0 to n greatest integral root over of n square minus p square. This sign denotes the greatest integral function. Greatest integral function that means if its value is 2.1 you will take it as 2. If 2.9 still you will take it as 2. That is the meaning of greatest integral function. And p is just a variable. We will start putting p is equal to 0. Then we will put p is equal to 1 till p is equal to n. Now understand how we can apply this formula in this particular question. So our question is x square plus y square is less than equal to 6 square. That means the value of n is 6 here. So our formula will be 1 plus 4 p is equal to 0 to 6 n is equal to 6 here. Greatest integral value root over of n square that means 36 minus p square. Now you will start putting p is equal to 0 till 6. 1 plus 4. When you will put p is equal to 0 here, you will get root 36 in greatest integral. Then you will put p is equal to 1. If you will put p is equal to 1, you will get root 35 in greatest integral. Plus. Then you will put p is equal to 2. Then you will get root 30. Then you will put p is equal to 3. When you will put p is equal to 3, that is 36 minus 9 root 27 in greatest integral. Then you will put p is equal to 4. That will change into 16. 36 minus 16 root 20. Then you will put p is equal to 5. That will give you root 11. Then you will put p is equal to 6. That would be 0. That means 1 plus 4, this value will be 6. This value will be 5 point something, less than 6. That means greatest integral value will be 5. Greatest integral value of this will be 5. Greatest integral value of this will be 5. Greatest integral value of root 20, that will be 4. 4 point something hoga, so greatest integral value kitni ho jayegi? 4. Root 11, ye 3 point something hoga, greatest integral value will be 3. So 1 plus 4 into that would be 15 plus 4 19 that is 28. 
सो योर आंसर विल बी 130. दिस फॉर्मूला इज एप्लीकेबल फॉर ओनली सर्कल एंड यू कैन सॉल्व बाय दिस फॉर्मूला इन दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन I hope आपको ये फॉर्मूला एकदम क्लियर होगा वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ एन एन इज रेडियस ऑफ दिस सर्कल द रेडियस ऑफ दिस सर्कल दिस पी इज दैट मीन्स वी आर पुटिंग सम वैल्यूज पी इज इक्वल टू जीरो से स्टार्ट करके हम लोग वहां तक पुट कर रहे हैं ये जस्ट बेसिक काउंटिंग को एक बेसिक वे में एक फॉर्मूले में रिप्रेजेंट कर दिया गया बाकी कुछ नहीं है जस्ट जो बेसिक काउंटिंग होती है उसी को हम लोगों ने फॉर्मूले में कन्वर्ट कर दिया है फोर कहां से आया है फोर का मल्टीपल कहां से आया है क्योंकि अगर आपने सर्कल देखा होगा तो सर्कल में सिमेट्री होती है बेटा ये चार चीजों की देर इज अमेट्री ऑफ फोर ना तभी वो फोर का मल्टीप्लीकेशन हुआ है ये वन कहां से आया है ये वन इस सेंटर के कारण आया है केवल एक बार एड होगा ये वन इज बिकॉज ऑफ दैट सेंटर तो यहां से फॉर्मूला डिराइव होता है तुम्हारा अगर इन केस आपको बेसिक अप्रोच में कोई भी इश्यू हो आप कमेंट सेक्शन में मुझे बताओ और मैं उसको नेक्स्ट वीडियो में आपको हमने रिप्रेजेंट कर दूंगा आई होप आपको ये डायरेक्ट फॉर्मूला पसंद आया होगा इन केस यू लाइक दिस वीडियो प्लीज लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर अवर चैनल विथ योर फ्रेंड्स एंड कैट एक्सपीरियंस ऑल्सो थैंक्स एंड हैप्पी लर्निंग